everybody, this is Callie with you today, sharing a Stamp Timber 2021 exclusive collaboration set with Mama Elephant. We have this adorable Nomi Holiday set, and it does come with dies. You just need to grab it as soon as you can before it gets sold out. So to start my card today, we're creating a Slimline Shaker card, super fun and adorable. I'm gonna stamp my images really quick and go through the coloring very speedy. When I started coloring this card, I thought I was gonna be very minimalistic about it. I was just gonna use reds, a little bit of grays, some green, and maybe some blues. So I'm coloring one color family at a time and then realized as I got to the gnomes that I really wanted to make it more colorful. So I introduced in some pinks and teals and purples for the dresses and holiday hats or gnome hats. Just very basic here, starting with the darker shade, blending in with the medium, and then blending it all out with a lighter shade. I did mention that there is a die set, but I don't have that die set, so I am gonna be fussy cutting. Just gonna share a little bit of that in here, but then I will do the rest of it off camera. Okay, so that was a lot of tiny images to fussy cut. Now we're gonna be working on this window or winter woodland scene. So I have this slimline woodland die that I've die cut out using white cardstock. I'm gonna add some pops of color to this snow bank here using some light blues. Same colors that I used for snow on the previous images from the stamp set. And when I'm done with that, I'll color the trees brown using some lighter shades. I don't want my card to be a dark contrasted card. I want it to be very soft and cutesy. So we're gonna be using some light browns here. I'm just gonna trace around the outer edges there with the darkest shade, then go in with a medium, just like I'm coloring a no line Copic color image, um, if you will. And then I'll blend it all out with a light brown, nothing too fancy. Okay, so I have a background panel now and I need to ink blend it for a snowy look. And I'm gonna go with a light teal here with Salvage Patina, and I'm just gonna ink blend all the way down. You don't have to go all the way down because that snow bank covers up a lot of it, so at least halfway down here. And then when I'm done with that color, I'm gonna go in with a darker Peacock Feathers ink and just ink blend across the top only. And when I'm done with that, I wanna give it a lot of snow, so I'm gonna be splattering it with some white paint. And while those splatters are drying, I'm gonna take my time and add some white gel highlights all over my images here. I usually do this at the end, but definitely not before die cutting or fussy cutting because you don't want these little white gel highlights to smear. So I'm adding all those little intricate details here with that gel pen. And then I'll work on turning this slimline woodland panel here into a slimline shaker. I have some clear acetate and we need to adhere that down. And if you haven't noticed, this red line tape is new for Stamp Timber. It's gonna be around forever. This is not something that is exclusive or will get sold out and never come back. It's just a great sturdy, thick adhesive that will keep things in place forever. So I'm using that on the back of my panel and using that to adhere this acetate down. And when that acetate is adhered, you can turn this into a shaker by adding some foam adhesive. So I'm gonna do that by adding foam adhesive all around the frame and then for extra support at the bottom of the frame as well. And when that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add some iridescent sequins just at the top where that tree line is above the snowflakes. Again, we have foam tape there, so you wanna make sure you're not gonna cover up any sequins or block your shaker components with any foam adhesive. So I'm gonna line that up and press it down and then you have a shaker. Now hindsight, I should have really spread those sequins apart because some of them are stacked on top of each other and they're not moving around very freely, but that's okay with me too. They're just suspended there. And sometimes I do adhere them down on purpose just to keep them floating in the shaker window anyway. Okay, so I've laid out all of my images to make sure I'm okay with the layout before adhering it all down. There are a few images like the ice on the left and the one larger mushroom on the right that I adhere down with liquid adhesive. But for the other images, I really wanted some more dimension. So I'm adding foam tape to the back of those before adhering them down. Last but not least, we have a sentiment. You could have very well stamped that on that ink blended background panel, but the shaker components kind of cover that up. So I decided this time that I wanted it on top, but I wanted a soft look. So I am gonna emboss the sentiment on vellum in white, and hopefully that'll show through pretty well. So once I stamp that and emboss it, I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut. 
I love fussy cut sentiments. Um, that's gonna be my new thing. <laughs> so we are adding some liquid adhesive here, very fine amounts of liquid adhesive on the back of those letters, just so it doesn't show up through that vellum. And then I'll use that red tape again to add to the back of my card to adhere this to a slimline card base. And that finishes my fun shaker card for today. I really hope you enjoyed this stamp timber inspiration for this Mama Elephant exclusive. It's so much fun and it really is one of my favorites for the stamp timber collaborations. Be sure not to miss out on this set. So go and grab yours now. Once it's gone, it's going to be gone forever. Thanks so much again for stopping by and sharing your day with me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.